Hey people, it's Kelly of Print Free Slay. <laughs> and um, I wanted to share one of my favorite books. Well, I'm assuming it's going to be my favorite book because it was my favorite movie, and that is The Shack. All right, and if you're wondering why I just have the dust cover, it's because I took it off, and this video is about um, why. So I love dust covers on my books, but I always feel like I'm going to either bend them, rip them, or something is going to happen. I almost bent this trying to take it out of the drawer. To show it to you um so i oftentimes take them off of my books however um i also notice that it's kind of hard for me to read the book with it on there it, it tends to slip this is a lot different than um the covers that i have for like my bibles from mama bouclet so i wanted to preserve it and put it to the side so i did and then i got some stickers that i put on here um to draw my attention to my book so this is what it looks like all right, so I'm about to do a video to show you how I got this look in this book. And then I will be sharing the reason why The Shack is my favorite movie and why I'm hoping that it turns out to be my favorite book as well. Um, but I do hope that you, go, you guys like how everything turns out. I know this is completely different. I know some people are looking at this and like, she just ruined the book. <laughs> but you have to understand the world that I come from with the creative mind and how this makes me want to pick it up and makes me love, you know, getting into it. I have my pens, my highlighters, my post-it notes. I even had plans to do some tip-ins. Tip-ins in a regular book. Never have I ever, but I will be doing that as well. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see how I got this look so you can see the video um, and remember to ask me any questions and hope, hopefully <laughs> this inspires you to probably do the same thing or do whatever makes you really, really excited about jumping into your favorite book or the book that could potentially be your favorite book. All right. See you guys in the flip. Hey people, it is Kelly of Print Fray Slay and I have a new book that I'm reading. I have already watched this movie. So this is my favorite movie. It is called The Shack. And since the movie was really good, I just assumed and I, apparently I'm correct that the book was amazing as well, if not better. My issue was this dust cover. <laughs> so I like hardback books, but I usually like them with the actual image on the book. And so you see here that I like covered it with like some paper, like, you know, how you used to do back in grade school. That is not working out for me. I didn't want to ruin a dust cover, um, even though some people are going to assume that what I'm about to do is ruining the book, period. Then when you see what I'm doing inside the book, you're going to say, oh, that's definitely ruining the book. But I am a journaler. And so annotating in this book is my jam. You can see I already got highlights. I got pen uh, marks and I have sticky notes. So um, I'm going to go through what I'm actually using to annotate this book. Um, after I dive deeper into it, I've only done the forward. I'm going to read, of course, chapter one, and then I'm going to share what I'm doing. But for right now, I just needed to doctor it up. Like it just really wasn't it wasn't feeling like me. Um, this blank navy blue canvas is beautiful, um, but that is exactly what I took it as, a canvas. So I went and grabbed some stickers <laughs> that make me happy, uh, just make me smile, um, that would encourage me to continue to read and and stay learning in this book I have, and have fun with it. So I have a library card uh, with author. <laughs> I am an 80s baby. So author was my jam. Um, and then I have my admit one, um, John 316 uh, ticket in a whole different color scheme. I have a sticker that says never judge a book by its movie because I saw the movie first. So I was like, I got to do a flip flop. Um, of course, there's read more books. There is a creatively grown is faith. That's the yellow font one above Jesus right now. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Jesus. I have two green hearts. Um, lime green was different for me. So I was like excited about that. I have my Hey People, um, which is a keychain. I have my roller skate, um, newspaper, and um, light bulb stickers that are in the shop but they're cut down if you before you have a heart attack let me explain so I, I am using repositionable sticker paper the same sticker paper I use in my journal where I am able to easily pull it up it has never left a residue on anything at all and 
I just feel like this is something that I can get with. If I wanted to change it out, I will. I honestly feel like this may even end up being a book that I purchase again to annotate all over again, the same way people buy journaling Bibles over and over. Um, so I'm really excited about this. So, uh, any other thing? Oh, I have, it's not a sticker. Well, it's a sticker cause I made it a sticker, but I just simply just typed up introverted, but willing to discuss the Bible <laughs> cause I'm an introvert. I know some people have felt like I have, um, graduated to extrovert, but no, I am still an introvert. Um, and that is something that, that I'm just working with. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to position these stickers. Of course, I'm not going to use all of them. Um, when I did the measurements on Photoshop, um, I had myself using the bigger Boston, to be honest, but I, something told me print a little one just in case. Plus, um, you know, eight and a half by 11 sticker paper. I didn't want to waste anything. So I just printed more things, but in smaller, um, images and thank goodness I did else, you know, would have been, you know, tough kitty poo. Um, I don't want to crowd this. Right. So what I'm doing right now is fussy cutting to make that second tier of just my, um, word art look a little different. Because of the G, it was like really, really big. So I was like, I didn't want it to stay into the blocks, the the rectangle format that it was. So I fussy cut the words out, um, that being, um, but willing to discuss. So I, I kept introverted and the Bible as rectangles. Um, but yeah, I didn't want it to be crowded. I I felt like I can put stickers somewhere else if I needed to. So, um, cause there's, you know, inside pages, there's even the back. I don't see me doing anything with the back, but I just felt like, I don't know. I, I felt like I wanted to leave some blue or I felt like maybe I'll add the stickers later or I'll find something else to add later. Um, I really wanted creatively growing our faith on there. I really wanted Hey People on there. I really wanted Jesus on there, but, um, sadly I felt like it wasn't fitting. Like, again, I didn't want it to be crowded. So I just, I just, actually, I like the way that looked. Maybe I should have did that. <laughs> but again, it's re repositionable sticker paper. So I can unstick it, stick it down, or I can unstick it, throw it away and put something new there. Um, but let me know how, how you liked it. Um, when it, when you see how everything turns out, um, and how do you, what do you do with your books? Like, um, I've shared this with other people. It is definitely like an intimate detail, but I'll share it here as well. Um, even though it's definitely like sharing it with the world, but reading is not necessarily my jam. If you ask any of my kids, like, does your mom read? Yes. What, what does your mom read? They're only going to say the Bible. Like that is all, but because that's what I read on a consistent basis There's a big story behind all of that, that really came out after I took like this psychology class and this, um, literacy class over the summer to be certified as a teacher. Um, that teacher really helped me understand my relationship with reading and my relationship with books. Um, it was very touching, but, um, I really want to jump out there and do, you know, something and about my feeling and read more books. And I felt like this was a wonderful book to jump into. I do have another book that I'm reading. Again, I feel like I'm gonna read a little bit of it before I start, you know, sharing it with you. But something that my son said that was so cute was like, um, mom, I'm so glad that I could inspire you to read more. And I was like, oh, he's so cute. Cause my son reads like every day. Like he has read the Bible, like maybe five times, if not more, like, to be honest, like, like the whole thing, like he knows it, knows it. And I'm so proud of him. He's only like 13 years old. So <laughs> he just really, really loves reading. So, uh, I wanted to jump in there and, and grab a book that I could relate to that. I know I would have a, a nice time and still learn and connect with God on. So I, I picked this book and I'm hoping that 
I have fun. I really, really feel like I will. I will keep you all in touch with how everything goes. I plan on sharing my annotations also. I don't know if I'll do a chapter by chapter once it's done or what, but let me know which one you'd be interested in. And if you, uh, you know, annotate or if you put some stickers on a book that you really weren't supposed to be putting stickers on, (laughs) but I feel like it came out much, much better than what it started with. And I get to keep my dust cover, um, you know, clean and clear. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is how everything turned out. I love it. I really, really do. (laughs) Thanks for watching. Bye.